The word apologetics sounds like the word apologize, but apologetics has nothing to do with apologizing. The word apologetics comes from the Greek word apologia, which means to give a defense of something. It's used in this verse, 1 Peter 3.15, But in your hearts regard Christ the Lord as holy, ready at any time to give a defense, an apologia, to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. The reason we need a defense is that our Christian hope, based on our Christian beliefs, is attacked in many ways. For example, the theory of evolution attacks our hope by denying that God created everything. Another way in which our faith is attacked is when people try to undermine the reliability of the Bible by claiming that the Bible you hold in your hands is not an accurate record of what Jesus actually said and did. The study of apologetics helps us be certain about some of the most important truths in the world, like these truths. God created everything. The Bible is true and trustworthy. Jesus rose from the dead. When we are certain that God really exists, that the Bible is really true, and that Jesus really rose from the dead, it changes everything. It gives us confidence in God's promises. That confidence, that faith, enables us to live a life pleasing to God. Apologetics is valuable and practical. That's why I would like to invite you to our church's apologetics conference. We call it Reasons for Hope. The conference will be held on Friday evening, September 14th, from 7 to 9 p.m., then continue Saturday from 8.45 a.m. until about 1.30 p.m., with a break for brunch. The conference is free! While pre-registration is not required, it sure will help us a lot in planning for how much food to prepare if you can let us know you're coming. You can just send a short note to our pastor, Mark Corbett, either on Facebook or by email to markcorbett0 at gmail.com. God bless you!